A West Tulsa Dance Academy damaged in Wednesday night's tornado with more than 70 people inside, mostly children. Two works for you. Reporter Jamil Donath is live from the rubble this morning with the story of two survivors there. Jamil. Yeah, I'm standing out here outside of Ames Dance Academy, Ames High Dance Academy. As you can see, it's pretty much gone, and I'm here with two of those survivors. We've got Jennifer Pedersen, who's the executive director, and one of the gymnasts here, 12-year-old Jamiri Wilson. And honestly, this really happened quite quickly. Talk to me a little bit about when you heard those sirens, what was going through in your mind? Well, I'd been paying attention to the weather all day and had told my staff, just happened to remind them um, about 3 o'clock. I said, okay, guys, heads up. We're under severe weather watch, and so if, if you see me snap my hands and point, that means whatever you're doing, you stop, and you get your, your kids down there as quick as you can. And so when the sirens went off, I mean, there's just no hesitation, and we just acted immediately and got all the kids down there within 20, uh, well, within 10 minutes, and then within 20 minutes um, was when we, we knew something was wrong. And you told me you guys were down there for about 30 minutes. What was the feeling down there when you guys were sort of hearing all those noises? I just tried to keep a positive attitude because I know the, the little ones were looking at us to be strong because they didn't know what was going on. Yeah, and definitely, of course, when they came out of this building, they saw this, and, and miraculously, no one was injured. I think that's really the thankful thing here. And, of course, they're now going to be looking to rebuild and restart fresh. Live in West Tulsa, Jamil Donath, 2 News Works for you.